What is going on Lego Messer? So today we're going to talk about a Star Wars set that I believe is going to retire this year. This set is not on the Brick Fanatics retirement list for 2024. However, it's been out a long time and I, I think there's a great chance that this set could retire. So I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this. Do you think it will retire this year or do you think they're going to extend it another year? And I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on how you think this set will do in retirement. I think there's potential to make money with this set, although there's a lot of factors with this set of why it might do good and my, why it might do bad in retirement. So I appreciate you watching and shout out to everyone that's been commenting, giving their opinions, and I appreciate everyone that has been liking the videos. It definitely helps the channel and it helps the algorithm. So let's dive into it. Today we're going to take a look at the Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader set, item number 40547. So this is a Brickhead set. I absolutely love investing in Brickhead sets because it's a great chance to double your money. And you might be saying, you know, a $10 Brickhead set and you sell it for $20, that's not a lot of money. You know, it's not worth it. It, not, it might not be worth it for you, but for me, that, you know, 10 bucks is a lot of money. That's, that's, I can buy, eat out for food, you know, go to Taco Bell, get something nice, a meal. So 10 bucks, I, you know, I try to double my money and I am extremely happy with 10 bucks. You need to get out of the mindset that, you're going to make bank with Lego and, you know, easily pull in 50 bucks. It's a different time now and you need to sell a mass amount of inventory to earn a mass amount of money. So if you buy a hundred sets and sell them for 10 bucks a piece, that's a thousand dollars. That is a lot of money to me. That's a ton of money. So just be aware of the environment that we're in. A lot of these, a lot of sets just aren't going to do as well as people think. And you need to understand that small profits is kind of a new normal but I love brickhead sets because they're small they're easy to ship if you did ship I sell locally you know I don't try to sell online I hope to get there one day but I just can't afford to take the chances and the risks involved with selling online so I sell locally and the, the brickheads are just a great way to invest in money it, invest your money they're a great price point and they're just they tend to just double in price and a lot of a lot of sets just go above the double your price point. So they're typically Lego store exclusives and that's why I like Brickhead sets because they're hard to get, they got a great shelf life, however this one has a bad shelf life. And that's the that's the negative of this set. I think it's an awesome set having Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader, you know, the show was absolutely terrible. I, I, I just think that might be a downside to this set. But I think they're just absolutely solid characters, and despite the show doing terrible, I think this set is going to do decent. So now this set came out August 2022, it's 2024, so we're going on two years now, and it's not, it, it's not on the retirement list. So there's a potential that it could go three years. If it did go three years, I think this set will not do really any profit. I think it will hover around, I think maybe max you might get 10 bucks for this set in profit if it goes to the three year mark, but I truly believe it will not go three years. I think this might be added to the Brick Fanatics link or uh, list at the maybe end of the year and throw a lot of people off. I just do not see this set being extended another year. It's not in demand. It's not selling well at all. It's always in stock at the Lego store, and I see absolutely no one buying this set. And it could be due to the show did absolutely terrible, but it also could be a lot of investors aren't buying it simply for the fact that we had a Darth Vader already. But despite having a Darth Vader already, I think this Darth Vader is a lot better than the previous one. So if we take a look at the previous one, this was item number 41619. This retailed for 10 bucks, which I like individual brickhead sets more than dual packs. So this one's got a value of $35 right now, and that's a really solid profit. And I I really like this set. I, I truly think it was awesome. But this set was out for roughly a year, we'll say. And right now on eBay, it's selling, let's just confirm the pricing. So we've got this one, this one's open for 15 bucks. This one sold for 41 plus free shipping. So yeah, this one looks like it was 30 after the fees and shipping. And then this one's 31 plus shipping. So it's not quite doing the Brick Fanatics price. It's doing in the similar range, but there, you know, this is a set you might want to, if you had it, you might bundle it together to get the most of uh, the most profit you can get and then this one's open for 20 bucks so that's great that it doubled in price this one's 40 so i think this one 
I don't know if it's. I don't think it's going to go up in price a, a whole lot. I do not like the helmet of this set. I think ours is far better. I think I, I really like the helmet of this one. Let's see if we can bring up a better picture. And yeah, I think it's just an overall better design compared to the older one. It it just looks a little. It just looks a little funny. So I think the new set has a much better design. I think it's a phenomenal design on both figure. So the benefits of the set right now is we have not had an Obi-Wan Kenobi Brickhead set, which is shocking and please correct me if I'm bro uh, wrong on that, but I just have not I'm, I haven't found it and yeah, so that's a really really great selling point for this set. And if you look at the Star Wars Brickhead sets, they just have all almost all of them have done, you know, uh increase in profit you know they're selling for really decent pri profits you know the ray the ray and kylo ren set retail for 20 and this is a 45 dollars set and this is probably i want to say the weak weakest except for this ray you know i i think this is a very weak set and it's it definitely definitely went up in price so i definitely think this one will go at least minimum up to 40 and I hopefully it goes on sale so we can pick it up around 15 or 16 dollars because then that would increase our profit so how I think this set will do in retirement probably two to three years down the line I think it would do anywhere from 40 to 60 dollars I do not think it will go above 60 dollars because I, I guarantee they're going to make another Darth Vader individually, and I guarantee they're going to make an uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi individually in the future for $10. So it would really hurt this set. I think a realistic number is probably $40 to $50 if we're lucky. But if they extend it a year, there there's no way. I, I do not see this hitting $40. But I really think that it will retire this year. And I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on whether you think it will retire this year or not that's the biggest factor on how well this set will do so let's take a look just how this set is doing on ebay right now so this one's selling for $23.99 above retail which is shocking and a five dollar shipping and then we've got let's see 20 so still doing retail this one's a little more but that's in german this is 25 so honestly i am really really shocked it is doing above retail but after the fees and shipping it takes you below retail you have to factor that in but absolutely really shocked a lot of these are above retail because this is just in stock all the time at lego there you can go in store and get it no problem you can order it online so that 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 tells me it's a great sign so this one was a bid i don't really like doing bid like factoring in bids i think bids are not really accurate numbers to go off of but yeah 26 here so that that's honestly a really good sign for me that tells me you know we're at least gonna hit a ten dollar profit with this set and then it could be even more if you get it on sale so just yeah I really like this set although it's just it's wonder I just wonder how long it's gonna be out for and it I don't think it will get extended another year, but I think we might see this available into 2025 because of all the inventory that is available and just it's just not been selling. And I think that might might be due to the show. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on that one too. So yeah, that's my opinion on the set. Do you like it? Are you avoiding it because we've had a Darth Vader? But you know, we haven't had an Obi-Wan Kenobi, and I think that is a big, big factor for this set right now. But the risk involved is that there is a huge potential that once this one officially retires, we could get in an Obi-Wan Kenobi individually. Lego likes to do that. They like to hit investors hard, and they have tactics like that, so I would not be surprised. But I really, really like this Darth Vader more than the other one, so that's a huge factor for me. So I appreciate you watching. And yeah, just hope you have a great day. But as always, please do your own research, have some fun, make some money. Video is not financial advice. Any statements made are my views and is for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Do your own research before making any financial investments.